it definitely isn't the prettiest of mornings, but it's kind of misty and interesting in the background anyway. Today is a day without a game. Uh, half happy, half sad. Sad, there's no more drama. Uh, or we have to wait. i also happy that, yeah, this is a day where we can actually catch up on some things that we have not been doing. So every negative comes for sure with a positive and I think a positive is better here. Well, i also give you my last predictions before the round of 16 starts. So let's go straight to it and have a look. So with the group stage over, this is how the eight groups ended. Uh, yesterday we got Belgium ahead of England, Colombia ahead of Japan. And that sets up the following bracket. And with minimal changes from yesterday, um, I had already Japan in second place. And we have this wonderful upper quadrant here with four big names. We have one with two strong teams and probably you can put Mexico in there and um, outside in Japan. But the way Japan played, I wouldn't count them out by any means. I still think that it will be a Brazil-Belgium quarterfinal, one that Brazil probably doesn't want to have. And then the lower part, which doesn't look as great, uh, Croatia, Spain stand out, but they will meet in the quarterfinal. And then we have here Colombia and England, as far as big names go, of course, Sweden and Switzerland are opponents that no one would like to see. So, but this lower part just looks doesn't look as strong as the upper part and that therefore we have Spain going all the way through despite all their failings from uh, the group stage. Well, let's look at the World Cup winning probabilities because I think they are more interesting. Um, Brazil uh, dropped a little bit, now they have Belgium in their way. Um, Spain, of course, was rising. It was interesting to see that England was actually dropping and that's all because they are now playing Colombia, not Senegal. Uh, and we also have finally um, Croatia ahead of Argentina, which makes a whole lot more sense. And it's, I really account this for the fact that now Belgium is fix, fixed in the upper spot and Colombia... Um, Nah, I don't think Colombia has any impact, So, but it's that Belgium is there, a really, really strong team that's ranked third, is now in Argentina's way and not in Croatia's way. Uh, Colombia, of course, rose a little bit and Japan made it in here. And we, of course, have uh, the ranking of the third and fourth place teams right there. So that's how things stand just before the round of 16. Um, I will probably make a little preview video um, a little bit later. Let me know in the comments what you think about the projections, what matchups you're looking forward to, and I will talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.